Welcome back to Let's Play Rage, Burning Dog fans. Ooh, we're here in the Blue Line Station. Scavenging from vending machines. Oh, hey. Oh, dear. Kneecap! Oh, crap. You know, a good friend pointed out to me yesterday that if these guys were accidentally created using... Huh. Actually created by using uh, nano machines, kind of explains the way they die. That, uh... Well, it's been a while since I played that game, but it looks like they die they uh, suffer the same fate as the dudes from Crisis. <laughs> Namely, uh... After they die, the uh, nano machines consume their bodies. In uh, Crisis, it was so that enemy forces would be unable to recover their bodies and, you know, reverse engineer the nano suits. In this, it seems far more likely that it's just the way the uh, authorities' way of uh, covering up their own involvement with the creation of the mutants. Oh, a deer. Ha-ha! After all, you can't find out those things are artificially created if they disintegrate after they die. I just want to check something. Wait a minute. Uh... Holy shit, it worked! <laughs> I mean, I figured, uh, yeah, yeah, electric symbol, electric bullets. Dino mutant. Oh, I really should have, uh, say electro bolts. Did I already have those? Yes, I did! Right, for shooting into puddles. pretty pleased about that. I really should have saved first, though, I mean... It might have been as, eff as effective as shooting pulse shot into this garbage can. What does that say? Guacamolito? Oh, it's a taco stand! Man, I could really go for a burrito right now. Sorry, did you need that? Hey, he'll be fine. Crescent City Rail Authority. Oh, I remember seeing a, a sign like this back in uh, the Dead City, and I was going to make a joke that, you know, this is the organization that became the authority after the, uh, after the apocalypse. It's like that one game where, uh, I don't remember. I think it was just a year, and then uh, traffic uh, traffic department. Yeah. I think the uh, the story in that one was that. Uh, Organized crime had gotten so bad and so powerful in the future that the only law enforcement organization that was willing to, you know, remain uh, 
in the fight. You know, with like fucking parking enforcement. And it's too blurry to make out if that's actually an image or not. Weird how you always find Devar's Tales as a complete set. It's like the exact opposite of uh, an Elder Scrolls game. We were finding a guy's house and he had like four copies of uh, book four of the authorized history of Varenzia. Against the against the elements on today's world, something sun flare SPF 5000. Wow, sounds extremely unpleasant. Fist of revenge, is it was? A tail of revenge. Game ball. You're dead! Oh, jeez. Kinda wasn't expecting that to work so well. Let's do this! He has a coke can in his stick. Oh no, it was a license plate. Fuck! Do not want! So it makes a, you know, whee noise when you use uh, bandages, as though you'd use some kind of high-tech stim pack. Remember the last time I actually used uh, pistol rounds against an enemy? Not counting that mutant I uh, accidentally shot here because I forgot to switch back to Fat Boys. Crap, I was starting to say something, wasn't I? Oh well. This game has a cooperative mode, separate from the main campaign. I believe it's called Legends of the Wasteland. Delicious. Oh, I hate that noise. It's so grody. Huh. Wait a minute. Is that just random graffiti? Like Mr. Scary was here? Does that mean that boss I beat at the, uh, at the Wasted Garage wasn't Mr. Scary after all? Yeah, 
those are just cloth bandages, after all. With the, the singular exception of the first assault rifle, I really like the way the guns in this game sound. I should probably quick save more often, let's be fair. Just checking all my ammo. Try something. Damn it. The cone is uh, more narrow. That made no sense to you guys. I'm referring to the uh, cone by which the uh, shotgun shells leave the barrel. It's more focused on this weapon than on the double-barreled one, making it easier to miss. Although I suppose it would do uh, more concentrated damage. With the trade-off and the other one being that uh, these wider cones mean you have to be right up in their face to use it, and the double barrels mean you just dish out a ton of damage whenever you do. But I'm using this one to see if I can conserve ammo on mutants by using the uh, gun that only fires one shell at a time. Looks like it! Oh, that helps. Bring it on! In the face! I that was in the knee. Thank you. Okay, running. This isn't working. It 
let's go with this thing. I get that I interrupted the uh, reloading animation, but I still find it really stupid how uh, if you punch before you finish reloading, he starts the animation over again and ejects two more shells that weren't in there. Let's get that thing ready for next time. Okay, can't get up there. Weird. Why didn't you just put a wall there? Weird. I'm not sure that whether or not this game actually has a multiplayer mode, but it's just, you know, you a bunch of people try to kill each other with guns. You have a classic deathmatch that... Well, let me put it this way. I was going to say, you know, that these guys basically invented, but let's, let me put it this way. The word deathmatch, as referring to that kind of multiplayer game, was first used in Doom. Where are they going? In such a hurry. Hello, what is that? And I know I saw something else shiny. Where did it go? Hello. To admit, I'm kind of surprised there are this many mutants here. Like the big one, the grenade launcher in particular. That's anything. I was, I was just considering whether or not to. That is what was inside of the other one. Let me try this. Again, just using one at a time, because it's probably smarter. Oh lord, please tell me I did, in fact, just hit a five. I did! Alright. Impressive, though not very helpful. Oh dear god. Ah! 
never doubt in Spray and Pray. Is anyone else here old enough to remember Run and Gun? Games like Doom, where you moved hella fast. You could, uh... Just barrel down a, uh, corridor, firing rockets the whole way. You know, circle strafing around a giant monster with a, uh, minigun. Well, timer's gone off, so I'm going to call it here. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Rage. Till then! <laughs>